can't believe it's day four in Gospeltopia. It is. Oh, it has been an exciting week. I hope you've been enjoying all the adventures you've been going on. I hope that you've been having fun with your adventure bag too and checking out even more fun that's in your bag today. So don't forget, check it out. There's also that sidewalk chalk. There it is. Loving the sidewalk chalk. How sending pictures. Oh my gosh, yes. pictures. We need pictures, pictures, pictures. I love to see how you are in action. One of those ways we're in action is through our mission project this week. And tonight, well, we may have already seen you tonight from five to seven or tomorrow morning from 11 to one. Bring your food items or your underwears for the kids. Drop them by. Check out the video again if you need to. We're showing it all week on our Facebook page through our Union United Methodist Church page. Or you can go back and look at these videos again because they're kind of fun. <laughs> We've been having a little fun this week. And you know what? It's more, even more fun today. It is more fun, but we're going to start with our memory verse. Yes. Because we what? We want to remember it. So we want to write it on our hearts, which starts with putting it in our brains, right? Yes. So you guys say the memory verse with me. It's again from 1 John 4, 9. Okay. Here is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world. He sent him so we could receive life through him. 1 John 4, 9. Good awesome. job. Very cool. Good. I might even remember it. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, you guys, like we've been saying, is all about our adventures with Jesus. So now... As you know, every single day, we're getting to meet somebody new. Yep. We're learning something new. I sure have. And we are experiencing something yes. new. And so yesterday, we met this really cool, chill kind of guy that I didn't think was going to be too chill. His name was Larry Lyon. Oh, and he was a really gentle guy, which is really weird, isn't it, for a lion? He, because, I thought he'd be scared. Yeah, I know. Because usually lions are just like roar and big and strong and scary and they chase and they all the things, right? But he did not. But he was still mighty and he was still powerful and he was still strong. He was really strong. Yeah. And so those words remind me of what we learned yesterday about Jesus. And that's what? <laughs> that Jesus is is strong. Jesus is strong. Oh my gosh. That totally reminds me that there is, well, no limit to Jesus's power and what he can do. No limit. And the cool thing is, is that he uses that for us, that to help us and to save us. And that brings me to what we're going to learn about today. And that is that Jesus saves me. And that means he saves you. So say it with me. Jesus saves me. So we're going to learn that in the Bible that we're a little bit like lost sheep. Never thought of myself as an animal <laughs> before. But sheep are sweet and gentle, but they kind of need some help sometimes. And we're going to learn that Jesus is our good shepherd and that, well, he laid his life down so that he could save us. So we're going to learn um, all about that. And we're going to meet a really cool sheep named Sam today. A sheep? Uh, a sheep! <laughs> a sheep in the jungle! It's kind of crazy. I can't wait to meet yep. them. Me neither. So let's not wait. Let's move okay. on. Let's say our prayer together. And then we're going to get on into Gospeltopia on our adventures with Jesus. Awesome. Okay. Fold your hands. Close your eyes and repeat the prayer after me. Dear God, dear God, teach us, teach us what it means to be your sheep. What it means to be your sheep. And what it means, and what it means that Jesus is our good shepherd. That Jesus is our good shepherd. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Explore an animal expert, Irv Stewart. 
once again in the jungles of Gospotopia. This is an unfamiliar part of the jungle, and I'm not certain what kind of animals we might see in these parts. Let's keep our eyes open and our wits about us. We're liable to see anything. Hello. Crikey! You're not what I expected to see out here. You're a sheep. Sam Sheep. And you are? Irv Steven. You live here in the jungle? I don't think so. Oh dear. Am I lost again? Again? Do you get lost a lot? Not a lot. Just a, a, a few times a... A few... A, what's that word? A month? A year? An hour. You get lost a few times an hour? What can I say? I'm a sheep. We lose our way. We sheep need a lot of help. It must be terrible being a sheep. Huh. We're no different from you humans. You wander off easily too. You wander away from God and you get lost in your sin. We can't help ourselves out of our sin. We need help. Just like you need help finding your way home. Thankfully, I have a really great shepherd who always comes to find me and leads me back to the pasture. Oh, I have Jesus. Jesus is the good shepherd. Jesus saves me. He died on the cross for my sins. He rose to life again. He has the power to forgive and give new life. We just have to ask for forgiveness and follow him. That Jesus is amazing. Speaking of following, I see my shepherd over there, so I'm going to get going so I can follow him back to the pasture. It was very nice to meet you. It was very nice to meet you too, Sam. Glad Sam has a shepherd that saves you when you're lost. And I'm oh so glad I have the good shepherd who saves me from my sin. Jesus saves me. So today we're doing a little lesson and I'm going to show you some really cool things. It's kind of like a science project, but it's going to talk about Jesus too. It's going to be really fun. So this right here is water and this water represents us, me and you, but I'm not perfect. And I know that nobody really is. So this here, this is food coloring and this food coloring represents all the wrong things that we've ever done. These are called sins. Sins are things that we do that make God unhappy. It could be things like telling lies or disobeying our parents or hurting other people, maybe being mean to our siblings or things like that. And all of us have sinned. Everybody has. So when we add this food coloring to the water, It stains the water and it makes it yucky and dirty. So in the same way, when we sin, it makes our hearts become stained. And when our hearts become stained by our sins, sometimes it means that we can't be really close to God. So on our own, we can't remove these stains from our hearts. Let's mix this up a little bit. There we go. On our own, we can't remove these stains from our hearts. Our hearts can only be made clean with Jesus' help. And God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to earth. Jesus was God and he had never sinned. He's completely perfect. So Jesus came from heaven to earth to take all of our sins away. And Jesus died on the cross so that all the wrong things that we've ever done could be forgiven. And you know what? When Jesus died on the cross, something amazing happened. This is bleach, and I'm going to add it here to the water. When we add bleach to the stained water, in a minute here, not as quickly as Jesus was. 
When we accept Jesus into our lives, you guys, it takes away the stains that are on our hearts. And it takes away all those sins and all those wrong things that we do, both now and forever. You guys, let's thank Jesus. Let's thank him for dying on the cross. Let's believe in him and put our trust in him and know that his salvation and his forgiveness is free. There's nothing that we can ever do to earn it. He just loves us that much and we just have to accept it. Let's say it together. Jesus saves me. It is day Four. I can't believe how quickly our week is going by. And we have had quite the adventure this week, haven't we? From singing to crafts to meeting new animal friends to our amazing Bible stories. It's been a lot of fun, but don't worry. We still have one more day tomorrow, so don't go anywhere. Well, you can go somewhere, but come back. Today, we have been learning that Jesus saves us. That's a pretty big idea, huh? Do you remember how Jesus saved us? He died on the cross for us. That's a pretty big deal. He must have loved us a lot. Who do you love? You love your parents? Mom and dad, they're kind of fabulous people. You love your brothers and sisters? And we have to love our friends because they're super fun to be with. But here's the question. How do you show them that you love them? Do you tell them? I like writing cards or giving gifts. I love to give presents, not just on birthdays, but anytime. I, th I see something in the store and I'm like, oh man, my sister would love that or my friend would love it. And I think about them. And so I'll get them a little gift so they know that I thought about them. Well, Jesus loves us. We kind of know that. And he showed it to us in a really big way. He just said he died for us on a cross. But he didn't stay dead. So we can't be too sad because he rose from the dead and he lives forever with God. Well, today we're going to read a story that Jesus told to disciples and others around about how much he loved us and how he was willing to die for us, but he compares us to sheep. And we met Sam earlier today. Sam got, gets a little lost. I feel like Sam sometimes because I can get lost easily. But like Sam had a really good shepherd that helped him find his way home, we have a really good shepherd in Jesus. Jesus helps us find our way. So let's see what Jesus had to say. And in the Gospel of John, we're still in the New Testament, the Gospel of John chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. And it says, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. When the hired hand sees the wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and runs away. That's because he isn't the shepherd. The sheep aren't really his. So the wolf attacks the sheep and scatters them. He's only a hired hand and the sheep don't matter to him. But I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. I give up my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that don't belong to this pen. I must lead them too. They will listen to my voice and there will be one flock with one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me. I give up my life so that I can take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I give it up because I want to. I have the right to give it up and I have the right to take it up again. I receive this commandment from my Father. So Jesus is talking about being a shepherd. Well, that's a pretty cool idea. We learned that Jesus knows me. We learned that from our Erica elephant. We learned that Jesus takes care of me. 
We have learned that Jesus is strong, and today we're learning that all of that comes together and Jesus saves me. Jesus loves us so much. He knows each one of us inside and out. He knows some of the bad things we've done and all of the and, and some of the good things we've done. Well, he knows all of those actually. And you know what? He still loves us no matter what we do. And he's going to take care of us. God sent Jesus to earth to take care of us. That see, when we do those bad things, they kind of separate us from God. But it never says God goes away. God is always there for us. He sent Jesus for us to make a way so that even when we do some of these bad things, Jesus, well, he kind of washed them away. Just like Miss Eleanor showed us that that food coloring, it kind of, those are the bad things we do. But when we ask Jesus to forgive us, and when we say, hey, I'm really sorry, Jesus washes it away because he already, he, he already paid for it for us. He died on the cross for us, but he rose again and lives with God. So, Jesus wants to be our good shepherd. I think that's a pretty good idea. You think we'll follow him? Guys, I am so excited and I've had so much fun with you this week. I hope you've had even a little bit as much fun as I've had. Remember our mission project, the McKinney Vento Project. If you um, want to bring some items, there's still time. But don't go anywhere yet. We still have one more song. Sing with us your song sheet. The words are in your adventure bag, so be sure to pull those out. And guys, we'll see you tomorrow. But before we go, let's say a prayer. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? Dear God, thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for being our good shepherd. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Eyes and shine, good